Frank Lloyd Wright is America's best-known architect, known for his unconventional designs. One of his extraordinary works is right in the middle of Tulsa at 37th and Birmingham. This concrete block glass column house was built for the owner of the Tulsa Tribune, Richard Lloyd Jones. He was a cousin of the famous architect. Jones is deceased and the family hasn't lived in the right house for a long time, but daughter Florence Barnett has a lot of pictures and memories. And then this is the only one of the drawings, and it's a very pale one, but it's the only one that I have left. There were a number of them that mother had saved. Most of Frank Lloyd Wright's buildings have names. This one's called West Hope. It looks contemporary, but it's actually one of the oldest in the neighborhood. It was completed in 1930. At that time, the Depression was on, and not many people were building houses, and certainly not Frank Lloyd Wright houses. And so Frank was really very hard up. And so Dad thought, well, we could build a house, and that would give him a showcase to get back into his work. When the house was under construction, Wright came to Tulsa to supervise. That's the way he worked. But there were some occasional conflicts between Wright, who wanted to build this fantastic house, and the Jones, who were paying for it. And Frank once said to my brother, I didn't build this house for your parents. Champagne corks should be flying over the roof and all full of young people. Now, I believe a home is much more a home for being a work of art. And I think until it is a work of art, it lacks the essential characteristics of a home. Well, you've probably noticed this piece of art has a flat roof. That was a problem. Frank did not know how to do a flat roof. And it leaked like a sieve for a long, long time. And uh, so Mother is credited with saying, well, that's what you get for leaving a work of art out in the rain. Well, all good art usually attracts a crowd. And when West Hope was brand new, the curious came from all over just to stare. One Sunday morning, Dad went out to pick up the paper, and here was this man on horseback and he had ridden his horse up to the front door, and he said to Dad, what is this? And Dad was so disgusted, he said, oh, it's a pickle factory. And the man said, do they have to build them like this? <laughs> no, that's a true story. The design is typical Frank Lloyd Wright. Lots of windows and open space, rooms that flow from one to the other, a great place for parties, and Florence's wedding. My father, he just said, well, you're being married at the house, of course. Mother and I said, yes, of course. <laughs> so. Well, the marriage and the house are holding together well.